Glen Pasadena is very much so inspired by nostalgia. That's not me saying never grow up. It's absolutely a coming to terms with the fact that, you know, you will say goodbye to a portion of your life at one point in time. I will be turning 27. I'm married, I have a career, I have a bunch of stuff going on, but I still have this music that I love. So in a way it's it's uh, introduction, but it very much could be a farewell at the same time. Now is the time to say both hello and goodbye. about a year and a half ago I was going through a lot of transitional changes I got married um, I you know went through a lot of you know growing pains and while I was you know doing some research you know I just so happened to come across this place called Crabtown USA which is uh, basically a um, a vintage arcade and you know the first time I came in here I pretty much fell in love with it it had all of the sounds, the 8-bit sounds that I grew up with. My family actually built the property in the 1950s. It was my uncle, my dad, and my grandfather. So the building was constructed in the 1950s. It used to be a um, restaurant that you drove up and they actually came out on roller skates and served you. <laughs> in um, 1971, we decided to open up Crabtown, but prior to that, it was also a car lot. So in 71, we opened up Crabtown. In 81, we actually got our first video game, which was Space Invaders. And it was in the original restaurant in 1981. It would take in like $5,000 a week. It was phenomenal. So we actually bought that one and then we just kept going from there. And now I believe we have like 150 games. What video game made me produce the tracks that are on Glen Pasadena? Any game by Sega, like from 91 to 93 to be more specific Sega hang on Sega afterburner somewhere in the early 90s Sega decided to To enter into a pact with the devil to create the hardest game in the history of histories And what they came up was with this game Sega afterburner it has since become The first time I played this Wasn't a long time ago. It was actually relatively recent like maybe a year ago. My quarter was instantaneously eaten. I was off the machine in two minutes. Two, no, no, it was less than that. It was like a minute. It was like a minute. And like I just kept popping quarters in like literally two dollars worth of quarters. And two dollars goes a long way in this place. Two dollars worth of quarters. And uh, if you look, the game is 50 cents. It's higher than the other games, and you move to it fast. It is with death. This is death. The games that really inspired it were the, you know, Super Hang-Ons, the, uh, not Sonic the Hedgehog so much, but um, definitely some of the early NES games, Ghosts and Goblins, Super Mario 3. Super Mario 3 is the biggest inspiration behind Glen Pasadena. 
the first time I saw a flight in a video game was literally when when you get to like the third level in uh, Super Mario 3 you jump on this uh, this box and you jump three times and you float up to heaven and what have you. you remember that yeah that's the inspiration behind high school by myself. I am one half of Destroyers. I'm Joel Stevenson. My alias is M. Dixon and I'm the other half of Destroyers. I just wanted to introduce Joel because you know Joel has one track specifically that I worked on his. It's a remix of a track that he called Love Hat I believe. Yes. Or Father. It was actually no, I, it's called it, Son. 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 Yeah, Son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like a it was that it was inspired by our father which is uh, you know Morgan Stevenson Sr. He's a bass player, so music kind of runs in our blood to a certain degree. I believe like Sun was kind of a message towards uh, Dad, you know, like our Dad. You know, um, I, maybe Joel didn't think too much into it, but you know, I it really affected me emotionally. Like I really loved it, and I remixed it, and it's called Stepson, and that's one of the tracks on um, on you know the EP. It's probably the one I'm uh, the most maybe the most proud of like you know the fact that I collaborated with my brother on a message to my father it's very much so a really big family thing Glenn Pasadena is very much so inspired by nostalgia. That's not me saying never grow up. It's absolutely a coming to terms with the fact that, you know, you will say goodbye to a portion of your life at one point in time. I will be turning 27. I'm married, I have a career, I have a bunch of stuff going on, but I still have this music that I love. So in a way it's an it's, uh, introduction but it very much could be a farewell at the same time. Now is the time to say both hello and goodbye.